it, it, it works on your brain, I guess you could say, with your feelings and your thoughts about yourself and your self-esteem and, you know, who likes to go out and do this all the time, you know, because you don't want to have, you know, that, that, that awful smile. Whenever you're missing front teeth, you tend not to smile, you're self-conscious. You have to learn to chew on one side or use the good teeth that you have and, you know, it's a good exercise for your tongue, but other than that, it's uh, living with a life of pain. So everything can make you mad when your teeth are not working right. I suffer through the pain. I have no other choice. They got ibuprofen, aspirin, and pray for the best. I have been waiting for years to get dental work done. I'm a waitress by trade. I can't, I can't do that, afford it, because waitresses don't get hardly ever any kind of health insurance. And then I had an accident that I lost teeth up front, and it's hard to get a job without a smile. And uh, I just haven't been able to have that opportunity like this. It's, it's really compassionate here. You really see a side of people that, that you have to volunteer to see. We all went into this profession to help people. Uh, that's why you go into something like this. You just, you just have to love to help people. And so a lot of dentists actually do mission work and that kind of stuff overseas or Mexico, someplace else. This was a chance to do it for the working poor in our own community. I was really thankful to hear about this program. Um, the sleepover was well worth it. I'm really tired. Been here since 7 o'clock yesterday, but it was well worth it. To us, it's just a day. To them, it could be like a lifetime of having relief. This has been one of the most incredible things I've ever seen. Um, I've been on many missions overseas, but this is my chance to do a mission here in my own backyard. Well, I just want to give back. You know, dentistry is a great profession for me, and. There's a lot of people out there that have need, and uh, we have some skill, and we just want to give back. My hat is off to all the uh, dentists who have volunteered for this effort. Oh, the volunteers are great. Volunteers are really great. They kind of pick you up at the door and bring you handheld from station to station. Uh, and then when you're finished with the station, they pick you up again, they check your paperwork, because that's everybody's question is, okay, we're here, and I got this part done, now what? You know, so the volunteers have been really awesome. I can't wait to call my sister and my kids, and I can't wait to hold my grandbabies, and they're not gonna be scared of a toothless grandma. I can't wait to go and hand in a resume and say, hey, you know, hire me. A lot of very happy and satisfied patients. We had some people who were crying afterwards because of tears of joy. And that's what we're hoping, that everybody feels like we're here just for them. It's very exciting and it's, it's very sort of uplifting to see all the hard work being done by dentists and hygienists and all the volunteers. It's really a, a blessing that uh, we have the opportunity to come out and serve as others. People begin doing this with Mission of Mercy and they're hooked because it's what they do every day, but it's doing it in a situation that is really filled with a lot of emotion and excitement for them because they're making such a difference in your lives. It was well worth the sleepover. Well worth the sleepover. I would have never been able to do this. Never. So, yeah, and everybody was so nice. Staff, the volunteers, everybody, everybody, everybody was so nice. You guys need to come back, need to come back, need to come back. We want a population of people that are healthy and that can be productive members of the workforce, then we need to be able to see to it that their dental needs are taken care of. I'm a veteran and I don't have veteran benefits, 
for dental. And every time I've been to the hospital, they can't do anything for me except maybe give me pain medication. I think when they see this many people in line and it's going to be even worse tomorrow for a Saturday, they need to look at coverage other than just medical coverage for the people. They need to provide dental services for those who've lost jobs or low income and, and the elderly. I just see an incredible effort here at, uh, at the state fairgrounds. Uh, people coming together to uh, provide for uh, others in, in need. Then when you realize it's real human lives that you're dealing with, it's, it is just way more gratifying. So rewarding. And... It was a very, really humbling and, and great experience for all the doctors. This is going to change my life. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Now I want to see your smile. Hey! Oh, look at those teeth! Look at those, look at that beautiful it smile. It looks natural. It is natural. Just a huge thank you to everyone helping out. It's a great start for a better health care in America.